That was Russell Zuma featuring Kabza the Small. Good morning. This is 959 Breakfast with your girl, the one, the only, Nanti Matita. Starting my day on 959 with the new <laughs> and so. Love it. Absolutely. Nandi love Madita. It. Nandi Madita. Welcome to 959 Decoders. So we were hanging out with your hubby the other time. Yes. And it's a family affair now because we've done the 360. <laughs> You're here getting decoded. You look absolutely smashing, young lady. Thank you. Young, amazing. young lady. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you. The young guys be getting older. No, but thank you. still young. Oh. Can yeah, I tell you something? Young. Can I tell you something? <laughs> oh. what? I am turning 40, but I've never felt so... 25 in my life. That's incredible. Yeah, 25 with a lot of wisdom and maturity. So we're young. Absolutely. I actually thing. believe that. Yeah. And uh, what I also believe in is just you get better with age. Eh? A hundred percent. Like I know you guys from way, way back. Yes, we have And the glow. I can see souls getting nice money now. Eh? Yes, nails, yes, yes, yes. Changing nails. Having more than one phone. Well, now here you out here matching your hair with every dress. Of every, <laughs> every day. Today it's white. White hair, white dress. Sounds yes. like right. you be wearing a new dress or a <laughs> 16 minutes after 6 Welcome to it Good morning everyone You are listening to 959 Breakfast On the street On the air On your dial We are everywhere So I want to get things started Right Random thought for the day Yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me paint a bit Please kill the music I want to paint a picture mm-hmm. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> Stop it Thank you I'm a shit Well Stop and check No Christopher <laughs> Think about the weather. Ne? Yeah. Okay. Okay, really, it's not that deep. Do you like beards or no? Not No beards. Oh, oh. <laughs> Story. Do you like a bearded That's guy or ladies, a non-bearded yeah? guy? No, 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 but also with guys. Yeah. Do you like a beard? Do you grow a beard? Mm. I mean, it's my like right? it, but just can't grow it. Yeah. <laughs> That's this true. is what I want to... These are the stories I want to hear. <laughs> How does it affect you psychologically, emotionally? Are you going for therapy? Because it's a thing. Uh-huh. It is a uh, thing. For a beard. It's a thing. For I don't a like beard. a beard. I don't like... It. Number one, I'm a bit clumsy. The maintenance <laughs> behind a beard. Can you he grow, can grow a goatee. He can no, no, I can't. Okay. You see, when it comes to my hair producing face, what you see on my face is Your my life's work. Face. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 my face producing I love hair. I And I say the other way around. That's a, a figure of speech. It's I, called I, spoonerism. I, 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 it's I, called spoonerism. I, I, it's I, not really. Well, I heard it the way you heard it. It's a figure of my speech. My hair, my face producing hair. My, no, my hair. My hair, producing my hair face. Face. That's, a, that's a figure of speech. It's called spoonerism. Google. It. I'm not making things up. Okay, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> but I meant to say though that oh. my face producing hair. Yeah. All you see is like literally the goatee. my life's work. Yeah. Oh. No, I've wow. never, all you see on my, is my life's work. <laughs> this is about as much hair. What a life. Yo. My face can be. <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, but I'm wait, begging, wait. Begging. Okay, can Do you see any bumps? Serious, shaving on a, bumps. Okay, wait, wait. On a serious note, mm. if your face could produce. Full hair. I'd never, would you want? No, I'd never go for a beard. Okay. Okay. So it's just not. Sure. It's just weird. Do we yeah. ladies like beards or not? <laughs> I like yeah. beards. So yeah, it's a yes for me. Can it's I tell a, you? It's a, but it has to be well kept. It has to be well kept. I'm Victoria Falls be. for beards. Like yeah. I, yeah. my life's over. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> Victoria <laughs> Falls. I'm, like, I'm a fountain. <laughs> yeah. No, it has like, to be well kept. I am deep in the ocean. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's something controversial yeah. for me. It like it mustn't take away from the aesthetic. Like, yes. Yeah. If he shaves that beard off and he's another human being, it's like you can It's like you can please. It's like no one can shave off a fucking piece. Yeah. It's in a date. But no one can fucking get this. Yeah. Well, it's It mustn't traumatize you. Yeah. <laughs> it's like also with the wig game, right? Yeah. That's why I, yes. I also I like to double check with the wig game. Yes. Like, you know, sometimes you must just get rid of the wig and remind yourself who you are because Master Squatel and it's just from men to men. Men must still be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the question this morning, it being Movember. Look, I mean, are we doing beards or nah? You know, are we growing beards? Are we not growing beards? What's yeah. our relationship with weirds? With beards? Mm. Weirds. Wow, sorry. <laughs> My relationship with beards is completely weird because I... I just, I, I take them all the way to the bedroom mm. in my mind with immediate effect. Mm-hmm. It goes nowhere else first. When I you, see a skiss oh, on. Oh. When you're kissing, I'm clubbing, Jamie. No, no. no, no. Baba Leo texture, nice. Baba Leo texture. I'm a daughter. I'm fuzzy. I want a little text. But 
but ba. but when eating <laughs> Uh, you know, to the gentlemen out there, we love you with your beards, but please just ensure nothing gets caught. Yeah. Hence, we're saying it has to be well well kept, well groomed. Well, yeah, it has to be well groomed. Yeah, just to be aware. But maybe we're going to eat later on. So, don't you want to consider it, man? A man who saves, doesn't buy takeaways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, to uh, show their alliance to and you know their empathy to uh, cancer, uh, prosthetic cancer, and all sorts of types of cancer where men are concerned. So, are you a bearded man? What sort of beard do you like? Do you are you a high maintenance beard guy, a low maintenance beard guy? You don't have a beard, maybe you wish you had a beard because the ladies seem to like a beard. And ladies, are you, you don't matter. I mean, well, you don't care. Does it matter? Does it not matter? Beards or no beards? Drop me those voice notes. It's 20 after 6. Good morning. It is 6.40. This is Senior Oat. Give me Jesus. Featuring Mzweshpa essay, right? So we're decoding uh, one of the industry's sweethearts, Nandi Madida, an accomplished television presenter. She's done shows like BET, A-List, Coke Studio, All Access and Mzansi. And uh, she's uh, given us award-winning hits like Skanda Love and Say You Will with KO. I like that collaboration you had with KO. That yeah. uh, sibling ship in music was quite nice. And uh, she's worked with talents like one of my favorite human beings, Lebza da Villion. Yes. You're a creative, a mom, and all of that, right? Mm. And you also gave birth to a global fashion brand called Color. Mm. How's that going down? Well, I'm actually collaborating. First of all, hello. Hello. Hey, 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 hey Mrs. Matita. <laughs> I'm, I'm collaborating with an amazing guy uh, called Omar. He's New York based and he's just done something incredible. He was showing his collection with Anna Wintour. But we've had a relationship, so it's exciting that we're doing that. He's an amazing mind. Uh, New York based, doing incredible things. Um, so it's exciting to get back yeah. to that. Yeah. But also to understand the market better. We've always. I made bespoke pieces for mm. clients who, mm. you know, your wealthier clients mm-hmm. who love, you know, a bespoke piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I almost feel like you can never compete in mass markets. You can never compete with like your H&Ms and your Mr. Prices. And there's no need to. And there's no mm. need to, absolutely. Mm. So, and we enjoy that. So it's a lot more fun. KO featuring Nandi Madida's Kanda Love. So your musical uh, story reminds me of... Um, What's like Unati's, right? Mm. Uh, jumping onto a Zola track mm, mm. Um, accidentally, and then all of a sudden we're introduced to Unati the singer, and it's like boom, 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 you know? Um, so you jumped onto a DJ Frankie song called Tonight. Yes. Right? Yes. And today here we are. Absolutely, which is insane because you're right, that was by accident. Uh, but it was all kind of the same time where, remember, I just joined All Access. Yes. Can I please just say the All Access story? Yeah. Please mm. tell you us, have yeah. to understand. So I auditioned for it, got the job, and then they said, you're doing it with Dineo, the Dineo, and Proverb. And they yes, had been Proverb, in the game, yeah. you know, yeah. for a minute. I have never been so intimidated in my life. I but was you, did, like, you did amazing, though. No, thank you so much. But you have to understand, that was the first, like, gig as, you know, an adult. I'd done mm. kids' show. Uh, kids TV but that was such an incredible experience so I learned and also just because you guys are really good at your crafts so it's like no BS you know it's like Mm. talent so just that experience was the best thing anyone could ever ask for. Oh man, it was it was great. The it was good. Stuff. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was on Mzansi Magic. And wasn't yeah, it, it was. one of the first shows on Mzansi Magic? It was. It was. It, was. Yeah, the, it was one of the very first few um, entertainment lifestyle shows. Yes. Right on Mzansi Magic. It's we incredible. did great. Yourself, proverb, myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did look great. Look at us now. And look at you now. Your music career is absolutely amazing. You've got a single out now with yeah. Lebza the villain. Yes. Ooh, beautiful yes. song. Beautiful Love Lebza. Yes. Oh, he's such a good person. Oh, what a good human being. Yeah. We had fun doing that a lot of fun doing that yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and speaking of collaborations we just played a, your song with ko yes. i love the chemistry between you know you and ko absolutely you know one thing about ko i mean look at sete he respects every artist and knows how to make them shine i don't know mm. how like and wow. i feel like people have to give him his flowers now mm. first of all longevity i would say hey, my brother you've been in this game and you've been killing yes. it from tear gas to now you know what mm. i'm saying um but also just 
when you work and anyone who's worked with him in studio, it's not about him shining and only mm. him. He really tries to get the best out of everyone. And I think that genuinely is a talent. Mm. And you saw it even when he signed so many other artists as well on his label, how mm. everyone was shining. Mm. He's just mm. got a way of um, being able to bring out the best in everyone. And mm. that's that's a huge talent. So shout out to you, KO. I think it's a gift to be able it to is. get the labanya bandwana, you know. Thank you. Get well said. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. let's give him his flowers now while he's still alive. Shout out to you, K.R. Shout out to K.R. Yeah. Decoding Nandi, right? We're talking uh, earlier about bearded men um, this November. We heard your voice notes, right? I wonder if kids notice things like beards for different reasons. If they notice if their dad shaves... And dad looks different. Do you even recognize your dads after they shave if your dad have beards? Because, you know, bearded man, once he shaves, he looks completely different. Like, it's like that traumatic experience you were talking about. You've got to readjust. Yeah, to kind of absolutely. Like, oh, okay, yeah. this is where we are. This is where you are. So kids, call us. Okay, we're not really talking so much about beards with you, but maybe we might ask you a bearded question, whether you like it if your dad has a beard or not, or your uncle has a beard or not. But do call us to ask us those tough questions because we are looking for a 959 Breakfast Champ this morning uh, for this Thursday edition of uh, 959 Breakfast Champs, the coolest kids on the Kaya 959 block. Burner boy, I nearly said Bujubantan. So if you're wondering why did Dineo pause a little bit before she told us about that song. <laughs> would you banton? I nearly said would you banton, I swear to you. I don't know why. Would you banton? Would you banton? I asked select type of nice, you have to play it twice. Bra, 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 bra. I don't know why I went to Buju Banton. In my head, I'm all the way in reggae nation. I love you. I think it's this beanie and this braided wig that I'm wearing. It feels very... Beanie man. Slow dancer. Get him a run. Hey, Nandi. Hi, Nandi, my Listen, my love. Um, You are... A very um, picture perfect human being. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, Hear yeah. where I'm coming from. Follow mm. my trail of thought. Got it. No, no, no. Of course, no human being is absolutely perfect. Mm. Your brand on the exterior, mm. right? We're talking about your brand and then there's Nandi the person, right? Mm. You're picture perfect. Mm. Don't you ever suffer in your mind, like mm. with that picture, per- uh, the upkeep of the picture perfect brand? Or is that an easy thing for you because you're just, you're drama free? Picture perfect. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 right? Right. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. Um, no, to be very honest, I remember my dad told me something, and this is when I was doing kids' TV. Yeah. As like a 15 year old, he said, now that you're entering the public space, Ensure that you represent exactly who you are. Yeah. You know, so what people experience is who you genuinely are. Mm-hmm. I think the most traumatic experience I've had, one of the most traumatic experiences in this industry, mm-hmm. is meeting someone and they're completely different to how they present themselves. In uh-huh. Ah, it's Exactly, guys. Bani. Is it not the worst Bani. thing ever? And it's yeah. especially like your Freak. most popular guys. The worst yeah. human beings. And you just don't want that experience. So um, for me, it was paramount just to be who I am and of course yeah. I'm not perfect but I'm not you're not going to see me do something off 90 yeah. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. right on brand yeah, right for yeah. who you genetically and genuinely are mm. you grew up in Mapumulo well ironically your husband went on to forge a relationship and worked with him Mapumulo nice Right, Mulo the yes. DJ. Yes. To be honest, uh, yeah. Sorry, you go for it. Yeah, no, I was gonna, just gonna say, how was it growing up there? Yeah, so I always represent my Pumula. I actually grew up in Mhlang at Devon North. Oh. Oh. You're an Mhlang girl. Oh. Yes. Yeah. You know when but Ricky dropped, "Oh, I love a Zulu girl." Yes. Oh, oh you, one of the first Zulu girls to come to mind. Niba ah, Zulu oh. women are beautiful. Zulu Thank women so are much. amazing. And the reason oh. I always think it's important to represent my Pumula is because I actually relate more to my kayas with my grandparents and. Mm-hmm. And, and my parents because mm-hmm. you know it's seen to like I relate more to that obviously we I grew up as predominantly you know Caucasian and otherwise and so um, as much as um, I loved the cosmopolitan kind of dynamic yeah. mm. uh, and demographic I really from an African perspective as like Mzulu mm. I always loved you know being in my car and mm. I just feel like I should represent where I'm really from as in when I die well, now I'll be, because I'm married, it's a bit different. But yes. you know, mm-hmm. you know, that's your homestead. That's mm. where you get buried. You know? But in my kayakazics, 
Yeah, yes, absolutely. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, yes, exactly. absolutely. Nah, yeah, it would be that. Yeah. So do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you're not really going to be buried yeah. in Sanga. Yeah. So your sister went the academic route yes. and you went the entertainment route. Yes. Um, you went into the arts. What are the professions that your parents... Did your parents ever try and encourage you to go outside of the arts and mm. almost like push that narrative to be like your sister? Um, was there any pressure from them or were you just given freedom, support and liberty? Uh, a bit of both. So initially, you have to understand our parents are from apartheid era. Mm. All they want is security and to ensure that their kids can eat every day. Mm. We actually, were, like True. the blueprints, in a many ways still, you 100%. know, for entertainment, you know. 100%. Um, and so, you know, there's that skepticism, which makes absolute sense that you're going into territory that we don't know. Is this viable? What can come out of it? And so, yeah, they were skeptical, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. but now very, very supportive. Which is one hundred percent support. Absolutely, it's beautiful though. It is beautiful. I mean, once they see, I think parents, once they see that you're able to sustain yourself mm. and provide yourself with security within your own life, then they relax. Isn't That's it? That's all they want. Yeah. That's all they, they want. Relax. Is this what you've always wanted to do, or maybe now you wanted to be a, a doctor? Um, or s- nah, I'm pilots. like you guys. We do yeah. exactly what we've always wanted to do. Well, yeah. I don't know. I can't speak for you guys, but I know for myself, that's why I was in TV at 15 years old because yeah. I just always wanted to be mm. a part of entertainment. It's, it's what I love. So I've been very lucky in that way. Well, I tell you, yeah. I wanted to be an archaeologist because the word just sounded nice, right? <laughs> so when I started, like. Ooh, I love- Yo, when, the, when, the, the, yo, when the English landed in my system yes. and I learned the word yes. archaeology, I was what? like, yo, I'm going to be an archaeologist. And then I realized they play with dust and bones. And I'm like, nah, nah, nah. no thanks. For me, it was just like, in fact, I see it in my, if anyone's uh, met my son, it's so funny. Like, so people ask for pictures and then my son would say, do you want a picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, well, this is chicken. Then he's like, okay, bye, take care. Like he's like, oh. he's like, he's out there. He loves it. He'd be doing the red cup, and now we're just obviously protecting him. Yeah. My daughter's the exact opposite. Uh, she's also on the spectrum. So my my son is like super ADHD like yeah. me, and daughter's like on the spectrum, more like Zay. So yeah. very no withdrawn. Yeah. And it's so funny that dynamic. So my sister, I mean my daughter rather would rather high five people. So she'll just do like a high five, and my son would be like, where's the pictures? Do you want one? Come through. <laughs> so cute. You guys birthed yourselves yeah. in different genders. Absolutely. <laughs> it's amazing. 23 minutes after 7, let's go to the traffic desk. Venom, Shishiliza, featuring Aubrey, Juana, Major Steez, Vuga. Are you awake? I hope Nivugila, 10 past 8. So, um, Nans, I want to come back to motherhood. Yes, All right. I want to talk to you about your kids. I mean, you do say that, you know, yourself and Zakes, you guys birthed yourselves, right? Mm. Um, I know that you mentioned that your daughter is on the spectrum. Yes. For anyone who doesn't understand what that means, what, is it in, what does it mean to say your daughter is on the spectrum? Basically, she's the next Elon Musk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I kid. Yeah. Well, he. Well, I don't. Uh, technically, he's also he's on the spectrum. Those who don't know, yeah, uh, he's autistic. Uh, he this is your son, Fergus, but it's. I uh, know that's my daughter. Your daughter. So, she, yeah. um, brilliant minds, and those are all my genes actually, and yeah. those genes have actually helped us do very well in general. Yeah. Is it called neurodivergence? Um, neurodivergence. So you get autism, yeah. ASD. Yeah. Uh, you also get um, ADHD and, mm-hmm. and many other, mm-hmm. um, you know, different uh, neurodivergent minds, which are incredible. And yeah, my daughter's uh, on the spectrum. She's three years old. Yeah. And uh, the first thing we actually noticed is that she could spell at like 11 months and she could say the animal sounds at like 10 months. Oh, it was whoa. just that wild. Insane. So the way the brain works. But there's a lot of sensory issues that come with it as mm. well. So there's challenges. Like what kind of sensory issues? I mean, for example, some kids where this light will be too much or yeah. having to some kids uh, will be non-verbal mm-hmm. and, or become verbal or just social interactions are, yeah. are very tricky. And that's why I was saying I love my son and daughter's dynamic where my son is super social yeah. and then my daughter will give someone a high five. Yeah. And, yeah. Wow. And just be out. And, yeah. and, and as a family, how are you supporting, especially with some of the shortcomings which you just mentioned? Yeah, yeah. Um, you see, that's the thing. We don't see it as shortcomings. We know it as an edge because I've been so... But you're right. Uh, you know, there's therapies for that to mm-hmm. support that. And I think that's for all kids. All kids have... Uh, advantages and disadvantages. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if anything, my true. kids have taught me a lot about my own family and my genetics, mm-hmm. which I'm forever grateful for. Uh, we support them where they need to be and also understand that they need to understand their age because being neurodivergent, you have incredible things. Like I said in Elon Musk, where yes, he's got shortcomings. We all see them mm-hmm. sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I mean, he's the 
guy who creates a SpaceX, PayPal, you mm-hmm. know, where you're inventors. Do these, do yes. these, um, do these uh, uh, complications, and mm. I know we always say complications, but these edges mm. that you speak of, right, do they, have they created any realistic marital challenges for yourself and your husband where one feels, let's try things a certain way and the other is more prone for a different way of managing and supporting the child? That's a great question. I'm fortunate because Zex is a very chill person. I think if anything, it was my anxiety just to ensure that like my kids got everything they needed and that's mm. natural almost, mm. you know, as any parent. Um... Uh, but I must say it was like self-discovery I didn't realize that like oh that's ADHD Mm -hmm. you know and Mm -hmm. then you're looking at yourself and saying oh that's what it was you know Mm -hmm. or not being able to eat certain textures and saying you know back back at home my mom used to think I was wasting food sometimes Mm -hmm. and then we look back and we speak about it with my mom and we're like oh it was sensory issues Mm -hmm. so we didn't know all these things we didn't have things like occupational therapy Mm -hmm. or speech therapy Mm -hmm. we didn't know right so you were just like whether you were shouted at or you know reprimanded a lot of ADHD kids for example seen as naughty when really mm. they just couldn't sit still for that long but brilliant minds you know mm. all of that stuff so yeah and with your daughter I mean you did say at 11 months she could spell what other ages does she have over the average kid um so uh, guys just the way they see things so there's visual memory uh, spatial thinking so it's, you can be a pattern thinker spatial, um, if I had to get into it it's wow, the reason why I love your inventors they you know they, they say possibly Tesla Albert Einstein because they all s- uh, started speaking late as well because mm-hmm. a lot of kids on the spectrum start speaking late mm-hmm. uh, could possibly have been autistic obviously they wouldn't mm-hmm. have known back then a lot of your inventors are that way like I said in Elon Musk because they just think differently when you talk about thinking out the box a lot of neurodivergent kids do that so I think if anything to support them we have a book coming mm-hmm. uh, next year this is beautiful Pac Millen yes mm-hmm. uh, we, we've got a great deal and it's for, for, it's, it's for kids uh, speaking about you know how it is to be neurodivergent because I just wanted kids to understand that that's a superpower and even being neurotypical as well mm. understanding what a neurodivergent mind is yeah. you know what I like what I'm hearing from you is you're mm. constantly making reference to people that have done great things mm. that live with this sort of condition yes. and I think it's very important for children to be able to see themselves in others yes. hence it is important for more Black Panther sort of like movies mm. Black is King sort of like projects mm. to, 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 to take off because it's important for the black child to see themselves mm. on screen and 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 but beyond colour Yes. In terms of how different we are mentally, mm. I love neurologically. That. We yes. are, we're so different. We're so different. We're so different. Mm. We're, so we're different. different emotionally. We're different spiritually. Yes. And for you to keep on making reference to those that have done great and mm. used what society sees as abstract as a positive for themselves, that's what a child needs. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Is it the same thing as an autistic savant? I've heard of those yes. where these guys are like geniuses. Mm-hmm. Well, know, savant a, a, is a form of autism, and you yes. absolutely right. Generally, a form oh. of autism. And you're absolutely right but remember there's always an impairment because it's like the brain almost being imbalanced somewhat mm, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah, you yeah. become a genius in what you're really good at that's why I say you get some kids who have visual memory so they can literally go just hit uh, uh, um, what's it anything they see now and you know, like, like that guy script. from Suits. Mm-hmm. Yes, he absolutely. had that condition as well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there are also intellectual impairments. We, we I don't mm. want to romanticize um, ASD completely, as in there's you get different complexes of as course, well. Yeah. But yes, that's why. And so we were like, very good, my girl, when she's doing this at 10 months, not knowing that actually that's her being on the spectrum and she's oh. an incredible mind. I love her so much. And Coming back to family um, and your nuptials, yes. right? Stories about your nuptials that I remember was what was that story there? That um, it was obviously a mutual thing that you both decided. Yes. But as always, media Remember. will always take its own lane. Yeah. My gosh, media. I love the lies. Oh my I gosh, the lies in lies. media are so dramatic. It's like what the hell are you guys smoking and in those offices year. when you construct those stories? <laughs> I know. We get it every are year. Are there drugs in the aircon? Please just tell us because it's so wildly far-fetched from the truth. Absolutely. Right? And I guess they have to sell. I guess people have to make money. And also, it's also very agenda-driven. There are people who pay people to, you know, yeah. try smear, do the smear yeah. campaigns with it's you, with it's soul. Mm-hmm. So you're getting into it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Miss Popular. Ooh, it's girl, man. Just get into <laughs> it. Oh, wow. It's, wow. Get into it's it. Good. Yeah. You're a com- so tell me. You're a competition. They, okay. they ran with the fact that you guys 
shared publicly that you were changing legal details yes. of your marriage. What yes. is that? What, what, what is that? And that was just for practical reasons, you know, guys. One what does this about mean, marriage? changing legal details Absolutely. of your marriage? Absolutely. So in our case, it's, you know, being out of uh, community, uh, of property, sorry. Yeah. That, um, but in terms of that, why we did that is because, you know, having to ask your husband or your wife to sign for every single thing, it's like the most tedious process. Yeah. So it's just from an admin perspective where you're able to make decisions on your own and someone yeah. else is able to make decisions on yeah. their own. And that's literally why I did it. Sometimes, or we, uh, we both did it rather, sometimes you actually have to divorce and remarry. There's that extreme route. Yeah. And then there's other routes where you just change, you know, your... So yeah. my thing is this, right? Mm. For anyone who understands business yeah. and respects business, yes. will truly understand that there is no love or emotional attack in designing a contract for your marriage. Well said. It is administrative. That's you, it. You have to go there with it. Absolutely. And truly, what kind of marriage do you have if you can't have that difficult conversation between the both of you where you literally remove yourself from the emotions yes. and you discuss the administration and what it entails and the implications of whatever it is you're going to contract yourselves to. Well said. And it has I mean, to be, it has to work for the both of you and it made sense for both of us. Yeah. Um, yeah. But the, you said it so right. You know, marriage is about the two of you guys and what works for you 100% which may not work for the next person and that's, that's so important and we like to live our lives that way also what I love is that none of us have lost our independence you know 90 for 90 you know Zex for Zex mm. and I, I'm actually very um, I guess I'm honoured somewhere that I'm able to do that I'm, I'm very big on men who empower their partners. Mm-hmm. I've seen it where men mm-hmm. feel threatened by their partner. And it's a painful and experience. It is a painful actually. experience. And mm-hmm. I, I wish everyone mm-hmm. could experience that, that you reach your full potential because my mom used to say something which was quite harsh, but it's true. Where you, you, you're born alone and you die alone. And it's That's your it. legacy. You know 100%. what I'm saying? So, yeah. I read something somewhere that really touched my heart. And it really did. And I remember driving. Um, I was leaving a gas station actually and I'd read it while they were filling up my tank and I remember driving considering this and I really cried I cried Mm. when you are loved correctly Mm. by the right person you become stronger and many of us have been weakened by being loved incorrectly by the incorrect person that's so powerful and, and therefore you, we've lost ourselves yes and you know the trajectory in fact you as yeah. well yeah. the minute I met Zex my now. career just went yeah. yeah right person you yeah, see right person you we're not perfect decisions. you're not perfect yeah, yeah. The but conversations right in the boardroom yes. inspire stronger conversations in well the conversations in the bedroom yes. inspire stronger conversations in the boardroom well well I mean if you're seeding words <laughs> not seeding <fluids>. yeah really <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? But okay, I, think, yeah. I, think, I think there's power in being loved at a soul moment. By yes. the right moment. Absolutely. No, the there right is person. power to that. And very grateful to have an incredible human being you guys yeah, know and, and speaking of power like what you guys have done with your kids name Nefertiti uh, Ashaga yeah. I mean, the royalty yeah. theme yes. you know how did yeah. that come about that was all me I was um, well I mean you're Nandi yeah, yeah well, they, anyone, they, black, 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 black is king they, uh, well, royalty well, they were born, uh, black is king came after that yeah <laughs> <laughs> we have all the um, I just always feel like names are so important as African yeah. people I mean do you know what I'm saying uh, realize the importance of a name and Shaga is really Shaga sometimes I'm like damn did I really call you Shaga because he he takes up space you know he, he really is Shaga and it's good and you know interesting to that as well a bomb, 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 Ab- bomb, absolutely bomb, bomb, can I tell you why bomb, I named my yeah. daughter Nefertiti mm-hmm. tell us uh, besides that, I love the Queen Nefertiti because she's a powerful female. Yes. Um, but also, remember, her husband, who was a pharaoh, um, empowered her and yeah. was so secure in his life that he ensured that she had this big empire. Mm. And I hope that for my daughter, should she find a partner, there's no pressure to find a partner in life. Mm. That's not what I'm saying at all. But if she does, that she finds a partner, a life partner who empowers her, the same way I got to experience that, where she becomes yeah. this powerful, powerful queen. Any sure. more kids, or you just leaving it up to no, God? No, no shakalubi. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's twenty-one. <I> see <laughs> twenty-one minutes after eight, we have to rush to the oh, traffic soul. desk because you guys might just end up not knowing what's happening on the mm-hmm. roads. So, traffic with Sol. So, um, Nandi Madida, are the Madidas a million rand couple? Are you guys? You guys are big oh, brands individually. More. I mean, you just signed with Congress. Woo! Hey.
Nice deal. You're in the money, <laughs> money. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Guys, money goes so quickly. So the main thing has been, I've been talking to a couple of people just to ensure that you invested, right? And we mm-hmm. we are, we wiser, we smarter. We keep learning about new stuff. So, hey, guys, make sure you spend wisely. And I read somewhere that you got secured a farm. You got a lot of things happening. Speaking of money, I remember there's mm-hmm. a deal you once uh, uh, rejected, like three million or something. Yes. And Zex was, I remember him telling me, he was yeah. so angry at that. Yes, that was in New York. It was a beauty um, brand, and they were just basically anti-black, and they were okay with what was uh, happening in America with two African Americans. Mm. And I just couldn't control it. So they wanted me to delete a tweet where I was like, this is modern day slavery. And oh. they said, we, ha- we can't sign until you delete that. And I was like, well, then we're not signing. I'm not signing. Take your hip tough like products and relax. Mm. Look, I like that. I like that a lot. Seriously. What are the things that you dislike the most about the industry? Um, the fact that they are wicked people um, that, you know, pretend to be good people and that's not true. And, you know, one of my friends said last week that the problem with not having enough black excellence is that we accept anything. We need to empower more people and empower and make sure that we're supporting people who are also good human beings, not because they have money or power. Let's mm-hmm. support good human beings as well. Well, we like you. We like you a lot. Thank you for allowing us to decode you. You literally just came here to play because that's all we did. We <laughs> played. We it did. was yeah, so much fun. You, it was so good. So it was cool. so much fun. Yeah, yeah. You thank absolutely you, are a cool human being. We are signing out. Um, we're going to love you and leave you. And we do say live light, laugh long. Love the ones you're with. Serve and sanitize those that you do love. So check it out. Um, all the content that you enjoy, all the fun that we're having, you can catch it on Instagram at 959breakfast underscore as well as, oh, by the way, 959breakfast underscore as an Instagram page that is so young has over 12,000 followers. Oh, wow. You guys are doing great for oh, us. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. you. Well done. Well done. Also, uh, go ahead and follow at Kaya959. Mm-hmm.